and roll. Welcome, welcome everyone. We're super excited to have you here on today. We're this is our day, our sixth or seventh class of our social media class. We've been doing this for it's a mastermind session that we get together. Uh, we call it the fortune is in the follow up. Please take out a pen and paper uh, to yes, think it is to ink it. it. So we definitely want you to think it and ink it. Uh, are you guys seeing my screen? I heard someone speaking that we, uh, can you see my screen okay? Yes, yes, yes. All right. yes, we, can. yes we can see it. Fantastic, fantastic. And then we'll just have everybody mute out. We'll have a time that we'll call on you. So we wanna make sure that we leave time for this gentleman here. We are so fired up to hear from Coach Chris Clark today. Uh, he is so awesome. I cannot wait for you guys to hear from him today. We are going to be talking about today, following up on our series here about how to get people to raise their hand using your lead magnet. We have shifted on to our lead magnet, you know, uh, from our last course. And so what are you giving away? Last week, you had an assignment to come up with some things that you want to give away. Just remember, just bringing our guests up to speed here, how this this is going to work. We want to turn our leads and leads and prospects into customers and business partners for those that are here to market a, a an affiliate marketing program. The first thing you want to do with this lead magnet is decide on your offer. What do you want to give away? You can give away PDFs, videos, cheat sheets, free stuff, video series, free events, uh, uh, eBooks, all types of valuable content. Write that down. You want to give away valuable content, okay? Now, what you're going to do from there, once you know what you want to give away, you're going to go out and create what is called a lead capture page or a Google form. We had our very own Miss Sanja uh, Chambers share with you how to make Google forms uh, last week or the week before last, how to make a Google form if you don't have a lead capture page. The Google forms are absolutely free. She showed us some beautiful ones. So if you're still needing her to help you with that, she is available to help you guys with that. But uh, if you want to go out, you can use things like my capture um, capture page, lead pages, as Kajabi, ClickFunnels, MailChimp, or Constant Contact are just a few that can help you with lead capture pages. And then what do you want to do after you have your lead capture page? You got to go out and market it, right? And we've already talked about several strategies on how to do that on social media. Everything from the groups, you know, getting on, into different groups, sharing it uh, in on Facebook. Uh, we also talked about uh, different ideas on doing it in other social medias as well as we haven't done our YouTube content yet, but we will be getting to that. So with that being said, uh, I found a secret for you guys want some candy. I'm gonna give you some candy today. Uh, we are going to be talking about something called private label rights. You getting private label rights. Because when I asked last week for you guys to come up with some content, like we use Ivy, right? With her health her health product that she came so graciously and shared with us in a big in another meeting and we told her that would be something great she could give away but some of you guys may still be dragging your feet a little bit or not really quite clear what you want to give away so this is what we call some candy okay so you're going to give away something called plr this is private label rights. These are products that other people have created and you can give them away as your lead magnet. There's literally hundreds of thousands of them out there. And I'm gonna give you guys some reasons why you might wanna use a PLR, which is private label, again, private label rights. Um, a couple of reasons why you might wanna use that is time. You might not have the time to sit down and really come up with your own video. We talked about you coming up with your own video, you know, what you might want to give away or what you want to do or create. You might not have the time or want to put in the time to do that. So the great thing about PLR products is that it saves that time. It's cost effective because sometimes putting together a whole video series or putting together, you know, a team to edit and do all of that stuff costs a lot of money. Here you can buy some PLL products for as little 
as three, four dollars. I'm going to show you some of those sources and you're going to be blown away. Some of these you can buy the master rights where you can customize it. You know, you can customize it and put your name as the author of this checklist or this PDF, or you can name it whatever you want. So some of these are very customizable. And the great thing about it is most of these have expert knowledge. If you want to talk about, you know, going on such and such a diet, they might have a person that has wrote a cookbook or whatever, or, or an expert in that, and you're just going to give that product away. You don't have to have the expert knowledge. But for our case in point, we want to use this to build our list. He or she with the biggest list wins, right? He or she with the biggest list wins. So we're going to use these PLR products to start building our list, our lead magnet. So I'm going to give you some websites. You can take a screenshot or write these down. Um, this is going to be a game changer for many of you. Many of you, this is going to be a game changer. You can literally go out and these, to these websites and buy this, these materials. We're going to go live here in a second to the top one called buyqualityplr.com, but you can go to plr.me, idplr.com, the plrstore.com. These are all where you can go and buy other people's products that you can have resale rights to it. Now, some of these, you can make money on these. Some of these have free things that you can just download and you can use as a lead magnet. So let's go out and take a look at buy quality. Uh, let me go out and take a look at buy quality uh, plr.com. I like this website and actually I have a couple of examples I'm going to show you guys. This one is actually a different website. This is from ID. Uh, no, this is plr.me. This is, if you, some of you guys are doing network marketing or affiliate marketing, this is a, a action guide that you can give, you can give out to people say, Hey, I have an action guide for you to boost your income. How do you make money online within a week? Put your information here and I'll send this to you for free. Right. And if, even if you don't have a landing page, which I told you last week, we also have another specialist here in our class, uh, Mr. Fred Brown, who, who builds landing pages. So he can put your product that you buy here, which you can see is for as little as, it's two credits. The credits are a little as $1.20 to $5.40. So the most this little thing would cost is about $10 and you can give it away as much as you want and get people to give you their name and email. How cool is that? Is that cool or cool? Let me show you a couple of other ones uh, that I picked out for this class because I, uh, you know, ran you guys forms and where you are. And I apologize, my phone, my computer closed right before you guys got on. So all of the ones that I bookmarked may not show up. Uh, so here we are at, uh, this is, uh, this is quality, quality, let me make sure I'm sharing my right screen. If you guys are following me, let's go to this one. Buyqualityplr.com, uh, the store. A couple of things that you want to do. You can come in here and you can put anything that you want, any category. They have it all. Uh, here is one that I thought would be interesting for, for some of you in the class. Recession-proof income, income secrets. How many people would give you their name and email to get this whole series? Many. And you can also resell it. You can say, pay $4.99. And look at the price, guys. It costs you only $37. $37. And you can literally give this away as a lead magnet to bring new leads to you. Those are people who are looking for a recession income. So for those that are marketing uh, affiliate programs, this will be really awesome for, this product might be awesome for you. Uh, for those that are in the cryptocurrency space, I found this product here. This is a cryptocurrency secrets or, you know, they have different products. Again, this one was only $37. They also have free B courses that you can give away for free to people just to use as a lead magnet. So what your assignment, how many guys are excited about knowing that this is something that you can give away to get the people that you want that are out there looking for income, you know, looking for, uh, you know, here's one, because I know all of you are not 
haven't been with us the entire time, just going to share one thing and then I'm going to turn the time over to our special guest because once you get the leads, he's going to teach you what you say to those leads, how you nurture those leads. But I'm going to share with you guys one thing for those that are new coming to the class for the first time. Uh, what we, one of the strategies that we talked about is simply going to Facebook uh, and Facebook by the way, we already did all the statistics. I'm just gonna bring you guys up to speed for those that are like, Facebook, oh no, Facebook's still good. Facebook literally has billions and billions of people on every single day. So what I like to teach people to do is to go to the groups that would be in your niche, okay? So if you have, look, I'll just go to this one because we used it last time as an example. Make sure I'm sharing my screen. This is called the Side Hustle Group side hustle ideas if you get into this group this group has tell you how many members in a second let's go here tell you the members it has two hundred and four thousand members and many of you are just looking for three or four people to get to your next promotion right so if you came in here and you put something like that income here you know go here give me your name and here's an income uh whatever that says, income boosting strategy to make money online. And, you know, within a week, you can put that here as a giveaway and how many of these people are going to come. And I'll share with you, not all of these groups and not all these people in these groups are, um, you know, I teach a strategy on what to do when you get in these groups, but I'll just give you guys some ideas so you can start to see. There's people looking for stuff every day. Any recommendations for a weekend side hustle? Who, how many people have been telling you, I don't have anybody to talk to? Hey, uh, I want to learn how to make money. Side hustle ideas for Australians. <laughs> that is an affiliate market, okay? So what's your go-to side hustle that keeps your cash flowing? You see what I'm saying? There's tons of people out there looking. And maybe that's not your kick. Maybe you don't want a side hustle, but you can go. Uh, we, I belong to another group that's really huge. Um, mm -hmm. Women Helping Women Entrepreneur Group. It's one of my favorite groups. It's Women Helping Women Entrepreneur Group. Uh, has how many members in this group has 722,000 members okay so it has 722,000 members and we teach you a strategy you never go into groups uh, never go into groups uh, you know like splashing them and you know spamming your information you want to go into groups to add value first write that in your notes please add value first right if you come in and you start sharing and caring about the group and adding value people will go look you up they will start asking you what you do what is it that you do and then we we teach you how to um get a nice mouse trap to catch the best mice so that is uh there's all types of groups of people who are like-minded like you right if you have a travel business you know, you look for travel groups, you know, travel agent tips and groups, travel clubs, all kind of just travel groups. And I'm, I was already in that one, so I'm going to go for another one. Just travel groups, okay? And they have all different types of travel groups. This one has single traveling group, 86,000. Women that like to travel, 17,000. World, look at this one, 699,000 people. When you're joining a group, you want to find one that has a lot of posts. This one, 10 plus posts a day, that's a good group to join because there's activity. You want a group that has some activity, okay? So with that being said, if you start implementing some of the strategies that we've been teaching over the last, you know, several weeks and continuing on, you're going to end up having people to talk to. And since you're going to have some people to talk to, I don't think it's any better person to come before you to teach you what to say when you get those people, when you get the people to talk to. And so that's what I'm really excited about today. And I want to get out of the way. Uh, we'll do question and answer at the end. But I want to bring up a gentleman that I have a lot of respect for. He's done um, some tremendous things. And so I'm going to bring him up. And now I'll tell you guys about the homework later. But we'll go ahead and bring up Mr. Chris, uh, Coach Chris Clark. He is a cryptocurrency expert, social media coach, and mentor. Has literally thousands of people following him all on YouTube. So guys, I'm going to get out of the way. And I'm going to 
yield the floor to my to, to my friend here, Mr. Chris Clark. Coach Chris, are you there, sir? I'm here. I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes, very loud and clear. Get your Ooh. pens and paper ready, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for that wonderful introduction. Just across the river, just by about 10 minutes drive away, um, uh, Marshanda, you guys, um, all you guys get a blessing and get Marshanda and her training every day. I get her as well in the morning. You know, she gives her expertise too. So um, thank you for the accolades, but um, iron sharpens iron, man. And much respect to what you do and what you bring in. It's evident by the number of people that are here. So um, I appreciate you allowing me to take this platform to be able to share kind of my perspective on things and how I do it. Um, I, I I wrote some notes down. And as I'm seeing you talk to this pe talk to these people, it, it shows me that you're dealing with a high level caliber of person here who is ready to enter the marketing space. And so I have these notes right here, but I think I'm just going to toss these because we're going to go in a whole different direction. Uh, first of all, I want to uh, uh, talk about the whole group aspect. Now, when people say Facebook is I'm a good. How are you? on Facebook, um, the reality is, is I use 90% of the business that I generate comes from Facebook. And it comes from my Facebook group. Now, I do things in a different way. I use more of attraction marketing, but I can see here that you've got a landing page in this mix, which means there's some um, advertising going on, some marketing going on, which is wonderful. That's a beautiful thing because in marketing, you either go through the free right, the free route, which takes a strategy, or you go the paid route, which is a strategy. Now, in both of those strategies, what ends up happening is, is when you get a lead and when you get somebody into your space, you have to communicate with them. And that is, that is the piece where a lot of times some people get hung up. Now, I do want to share a couple of things here before we get into that. Um, first of all, um, you were talking about incentives, PLR things. All right. One thing that I want to share with you, let me just share my screen here is, and I, and I'll get this to uh, Marshanda if you are interested in this at all. But what this is, this is called marketing boost. And I just pulled this up as you were talking, um, something that you can offer people that is a very, very big incentive. The whole purpose of this website here is just to incentivize people. And I use it primarily to give away trips, okay? And so it uh, the, the price is $37 a month and I can give away unlimited trips. And so I'll just show you how exactly what happens. If I put on a Zoom or I'm putting on a presentation or something and the incentive is, listen, the first five people that get to the Zoom, I'm giving away a free trip or I'm giving away one all uh, I'm giving away one trip to at the end of the call. I'm going to do a drawing or I'm going to say, look, everybody that's on the call gets a trip to certain different locations across the world. And so I'm just going to show you this real quick. Um, I'll just come in here. If I whoever I decide to give the trip to, I'm going to click incentives. And then what I can do here is I can select the country. Let's just say, let's say Dominican. Okay. So the destination is Dominican. When I go to Punta Cana, Punta Cana for five days, four nights, it's only going to cost the person $48.55 a night to enjoy, enjoy five days, four nights. So what I would do is I'll put their email address here and then put their name and email address. I'll click this button and send it off. Now, here is where I can pay for the trip. If I want to pay all those taxes and fees, then I click here. But otherwise, I just put their name and email in here and hit send. And this system takes care of it all. And what it what it does do is it there is taxes and fees that they have to pay, which is about maybe total $200. But they get those five days, four nights in Punta Cana. And the other the catch is they have to get there. Now, I explain all of that when I give these incentives, but this is a wonderful incentive. You know, um, I sent my son, I've given a million of these trips away and people say, man, this was a great resort. It was wonderful. All I had to do was pay to get there, but my resort was taken care of. We went and did this and this and this, and it was a great experience. So this is a great incentive piece that um, I'll share with Marshawn if she wants to um, add it into what you guys are doing. Definitely, um, this is something that you can add into your toolbox because people eat this travel stuff up. And there's restaurant incentives here, hotel savings cards. You can do this. They do Zooms. They do everything, share everything with you. But $37 a month, you send out an email and the system takes care of everything. You never even have to talk to them again. So beautiful incentive piece. Um, now, 
let's go back to uh, Facebook. Like um, Marshanda was saying, you go into these Facebook groups and I want to add to what she's saying. Number one thing, have to give value. You have to give value. You all know you've been in Facebook groups where the person comes in and says, come join my thing because you're going to do this. And you see that there's crickets on that post because that is appears that that's somebody that doesn't know how to market. They appear spammy and you don't want to be that person. But you also know the groups that you're in where somebody comes in and they got something warm to say. They every day they're encouraging people. They drop their knowledge on, and, and they just appear in the group frequently. And that in itself is giving value. You are showing that I show up. I'm consistent. I'm here for you. I'm helping you. And if you then reach out with a friend request, that's much more well received than somebody just posting a link or posting you a, and sending a message to you. So one thing you could do in these Facebook groups, and I know Marshanda is saying that go to these huge Facebook groups, 800,000 people, definitely go to the Facebook groups that have more than 10, 15,000 people in it, but also target Facebook groups with people that have money in things that you like to do. Like, I remember when I first got started, I was reaching out into yacht groups. I like yachts. And I know people that like yachts have some taste for money. So I start going in the yacht groups, boating groups. Um, I started going into pilot groups, you know, because people that are pilots obviously have to have some kind of money. And just being in there and encouraging people, asking questions, learning about people. Also, uh, sports that cost money, polo, lacrosse, any travel sports, soccer, you know, you are involved. I'm a sports person. You guys know that you see me and all I do. So I'm in a lot of sports parent groups uh, where we talk about sports, talk about the things that go on in sports. And guess what? As I'm in those sports groups, my face shows up quite a bit so that now I have friend requested those people and we have started having relationships. And that leads me to how you can use your Facebook profile to actually not have to spend any money and just capture people's attention. I do something in my Facebook group every so often. It's called Boot Camp, where I talk about how you prime your Facebook profile, how you can relate to people, and then you communicate with the people that reach out to you. It's very much in line, I already know, with what Marshawn is teaching, because it's about you presenting yourself, you offering something, people reaching out to you, and then you communicate. This is just something that's outside. This is a different lane where I'm not necessarily using the landing page um, or any other type of marketing. I just use attraction marketing that is um, attraction marketing that is just strictly on my Facebook and the YouTube videos that I put out. And so uh, real quick, I'm not going to go deep into it, but it, I do like a three-day video series and I'm heavy in the crypto space. And so what I do is I, my, my, my message is kind of, I teach people how to grow their network in the crypto space and how to have a safe and confident experience. And so that way, when people come into my group, they know that not only am I going to be talking about crypto and how to navigate the space, but I'm also going to be talking about how to grow your network because my message is the way that you really make it in the crypto space is by growing your network. Okay. Especially for people that don't have a network, don't have a lot of money. If you can grow your network and you can get a following, then you can enter these platforms and you can end up having a network that comes along with you, which can help you. So um, I have a three-day video series and you can apply this to any industry. It works very well in the crypto space because a lot of people don't know about the crypto space or they're apprehensive. And so the angle that I teach people to do is to make yourself relatable. Make yourself, if you, a big thing that I say is, Practice posting things or saying things as if you're marketing to yourself and what would work to get you to pique your interest. And so when I present things and when I talk about my three-day series, I say, first thing is, how did you feel before you entered the crypto space? So, hey, look, hi, I'm Coach Chris. I just wanted to take a second today. You guys know that I'm involved in the crypto space. But I just wanted to share with you what I thought about and the feelings I had before I got involved with crypto. And then I leave a two to three minute video just about that. 
And what that's doing is, is that is making me relatable. That's making people say, but you know what? I'm feeling that way right now. I do. I, I, I feel you. And then at the end of that video, I say, but stay tuned tomorrow and I'll let you know how things are going currently. And so then the next day I will say, so here's how things are going currently in the crypto space for me. And I'll share some experiences and share some um, how things are going. And then at the end of that, I'm going to say, stay tuned tomorrow because I'm going to share with you if I would know now, if I know knew then what I know now, I wouldn't have been so apprehensive and what my advice to people that aren't in the crypto space would be. And then on that third day, I'm saying, okay, well, you know, this is what I thought. And, you know, and then I entered the space and I experienced this and I met this person, I felt this, and this is how I would act if I, if I was, you know, before I entered. And I wish somebody had shared these things with me. So I want to share these with the, with the public. And now what you're doing by making those three videos is you are showing some consistency. You're giving value in the sense that you're sharing your experience unbiased, meaning you're being straight up and people will appreciate that because your friends are your friends for a reason. So they'll appreciate how candid you are. And then what you're doing is, is you're relating to them. You're relating to them and letting them know, this is my journey and this is what happens. And at the very end, you say, if you'd like to know more information, just go ahead and shout, you know, raise your hand or, or, or give me a message. And every single person that likes, comments, does anything, you reach out to them and you speak to them. And those are additional leads as well. And so I've talked about the Facebook group where you can go in and you can um, give value, share with people, talk with people, just be friendly with people. And then you can put something up and say, listen, I'm doing this Zoom that um, I'm giving away 10, I'm giving away 10 five-day, four-night trips. I'm giving 10 of them. And you should come check this out because I am teaching how to do this. I'm sharing with you how you can do this. I'm tired of, you know, running into a brick wall in network marketing. Well, I'm sharing how to create some engagement and I'm giving a trip to everybody that comes. You don't think that's the truth? Why don't you show up and see if I give you a free trip? And then when you start to give these trips away and people are like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they're giving this trip away. And then they start to be like, they're giving value and I want to listen to this person and they're serious and you just got to show up. So now getting to what do you say to somebody when they finally reach out to you? When you are now in a conversation with somebody, what do you say to them? Now, it's a little difficult to talk about all the different lanes that, that lead you to the point of actually having a conversation with them. So what I'd like for all of you guys to do right now as I move forward is I want for you to look in your messenger or look in your conversations, your text conversations that you've had with people. And I want for you to notate that right now. And then what I want you to do is I'm going to open it up and give you a chance to share your message, share your line of thinking, share your conversation. And that way I can help interject something that you can say that'll take you to the next step. And what I found that's very valuable in the boot camps that I do. Now you do have to get over the fact that yes, you're going to share your message. And yes, you may think, oh my gosh, I, I sound so stupid in this message. And I fumbled right here, but you know what? I fumble my messages all the time, but I reach back and I read them back and I say, okay, that's where I could have said something different. And that's where I could have said something different. So I want you to prepare that right now. Anybody that's real gutsy. And I tell you what, anybody that, that shares a message, I'm giving you a trip. I'm giving you a trip. We'll communicate afterwards. I'll get your email. I'll send you a, a trip and we'll, we'll get on. You can, you can pick where you want to go. Remember, you do got to pay to get there, um, but uh, you'll get to, you'll get to enjoy that. So um, as we move forward, when somebody actually communicates with you, like let's let's, let's just talk, let's just talk about um, since um, since Marshanda said you have a, a lead capture page and somebody comes in through they put your email. It's like oh man, you said that you were going to teach us how to you know get five people in our business in thirty days. Of course, I'd love to learn more about that. And they give you their email, and now I'm sure that you have 
an email thread that goes out. If you're using any of these autoresponders, you know, whether it's Git Response, Aweber, or whatever lead capture page you're using, if you're using that, then of course you got an email follow up system that goes out, you know, every day, every other day, three days, five days. So uh, definitely um, continue to utilize that. But when you actually get into a real conversation with somebody, let's say they've reached out, they've given you the phone number, and you pick up the phone and you call them. And you say, and I'll, as Tyrone, since you raised your hand, I'll reach out to you. But hey, Tyrone, what's up, man? This is Coach Chris. Um, hey, I saw you come into my page. You wanted to learn how I can make, um, how I can, how you can add five people to your team in 30 days, man. I'm so excited that you reached out. Tell me, what is it that you're doing? You know, what is it that you're trying to grow? So you immediately want to start to build some rapport, just regular conversation. Now, you also have to have in mind what the ultimate end result is okay so you want to get some more information in front of them so let's say you have a uh, let's say a five minute video that really goes a quick overview of your program or your platform uh five minute overview that you want to get to them that way it explains all the nuts and bolts takes it off of you so um tyrell man so um thanks for thanks for coming into in, into my website man i really got some great information um uh, for you, but tell me, what is it that you're doing? What is it that, what is that kind of, that, that kind of moved you in this direction and then let them explain it. Well, you know, I'm in this platform, you know, and, and uh, it's like, I reached out to all my friends and family and uh, nobody wants to hear anything. They always say, Oh, here comes Tyrone again. And so, uh, you know, I decided I want to go on Facebook and, and I, and I'm just running into a brick wall. And I just I, like, I really want to do this, but I just can't, I don't, I just don't understand how to use the YouTubes um, and, and uh, I'm spinning my wheels. You know what Tyrone? I was exactly where you were at. I completely understand. You want to first always relate. I completely understand. That's exactly what I felt. I completely see where you're at. So you want to write that down. You want to agree with whatever they say. Oh, you know what? That's That was me. So I understand how you feel. Feel, felt, found. You probably heard that through your networking experience. I understand how you feel. I felt the same way. This is what I found. I found that with this, with, with this, with this wonderful woman that I'm working with, her name is Marshana, man. She gives this amazing training. I promise you, you're going to see things that you've never seen before. You're going to learn things you've never known before. And I promise you in 30, in 30 days, Marshanda's training is going to have you not just five, but you're probably going to be pushing 10, 20 people in your organization on a regular basis. How's that sound? Oh man, I like that. I like that. Great. Can I have your permission? That is something you need to write down right now. Can I have your permission to share with you? Blah, blah, blah. Three minute video, five minute video, this Recording quick little training that's going to da, da, da. Can I have your permission? Now, the reason you say, can I have your permission is because there's a psychological thing that goes on right there. When you talk to somebody, most of the time, think about it. Somebody lands into your inbox. Yo, you have got to check this out. I know you're going to be the greatest at this. Man, I know you've been waiting on this. You have to join this. Boom. Here's a video. Get back to me. How many of you actually go to that video? Or are you turned off because somebody thought that they could just drop a link in your messenger? All right. I like, I teach that people need to ask you need to ask, but you don't even know if I'm interested at all. How do you know if I'm even interested in what you're sharing if you didn't even ask? So what also it does is that takes people aback. Like, wait a second, you're asking me permission? Do you know nobody has ever asked me permission to send me anything? They just send it? So that puts you one step ahead of your competition already because you asked permission. Now, when they say, absolutely, thank you very much for asking. Never had anybody ask me that before. Now you can feel free and not sneaky, scammy, trying to find a way to get the link to them. They have said, yes, I give you permission. Here you go. Boom. Send it. After they review it, however, it's five minutes, 10 minutes, an hour, you guys agree. Hey, I'll reach back out later. Let's touch base tomorrow, whatever, whatever. Or you just randomly reach back out and say, hey, hey, Tyrone, I wanted to touch base with you and say, what did you like best about what you saw? That is such an easy question. What did you like best about what you saw? That's another thing you want to write down. What did you like best about what you saw? 
because that puts them in a in a positive response. Now, I'm probably I'm probably repeating what Marshanda has told you already because she's a marketing expert, but I want to emphasize that is so important. What did you like best about what you saw? Because that is a positive response. So many people say, what'd you think? What'd you think about that? Man, that was the dumbest thing I ever saw. What are you going to say to that when somebody responds? Man, I, I couldn't stand that, man. I don't even like, I don't even like that Marshawn is from Pittsburgh. I can't even stand it. I can tell in her accent. I don't even want to deal with her. No, you don't, you don't want to, you don't want to hear what do you think? What you like? What you want to ask them? What did you like best? Because now if they had something negative, now they got to swallow it and they got to put a different spin on it. Well, well, you know what? I did like this. Then they'll say, oh, but I didn't like that. They're going to start by saying, but I did like this. And you say, you know what? That is the main thing that I love to. That's the main, whatever they say, man, I love the time freedom aspect. I like the fact that I could possibly put 15 to 20 people in my business. I like the fact that um, it's not going to cost me a bunch of money. I like the fact that this is really going to save me some time. So great, great. What they, I, I like that. But you know what? I love that too. I love that too, man. And once I decided to take it seriously, once I decided to take it seriously, I experienced that 15 to 20 new reps in my business. And Marshonda's training is one night a week, one hour, however long it is, man. She drops the nuggets. She brings special guests to the call, man. It is the place that you want to be if you're serious about it. You know what? I love the sound of that. I love the sound of that. You know what? And I don't know <clears throat> if Marshonda has made this available to you. Some people do make this available to you, but if you have access to Marshonda and she's given you the permission to call her in a situation where you have somebody on the phone, you can say, guess what? We can get Marshonda on the phone right now. And then Marshonda can come on and close the deal. But if you don't have that luxury, you just say, well, guess what? We are doing a live call. We're doing a live call on Monday, a live training. And what Marshonda is going to do, she's going to let you sit on the first call. She's going to let you sit, sit in on the first call. That way you can see if you like it. And then we'll revisit, we'll, we'll get back and then we'll decide how you want to move forward. Now, you always, after they've told you what you like best and you set up the next thing, whether it's a call with Marshonda, whether it's a registration link, whether it's a, whether it's another call, you always want to end it with, let's revisit so we can see how you want to move forward. That way, when you have the next conversation with them, they know this conversation is about moving forward. And then you just want to come straight out and ask them. That's a philosophical thing. A lot of people may say different things about you mean you want to build some more rapport or have a third party come in and do it. But I say get right to the chase. So after they have the training or whatever and say, listen, what'd you like best about that? Oh, man, I think I can get so much value. Great. Let's talk about moving forward. Marshonda offers, and she charges $20,000 a month for her training, but she's going to offer you a discount. She's going to offer you a $5 discount. You cannot beat this anywhere. $19,995, you are going to have the best training in the world. Let's go. Where can I send the registration link? What package are you looking to move forward with? That way you're not, uh, 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 it's boom. We're talking about moving forward, moving forward, moving forward, boom. Ask the question. That way you put it on them. Now, when they start to say things like, well, you know, I don't really, uh, and they start to give you the objections, that can be a completely different call. We can handle objections all you want. Now, I know Tyrone did raise his hand, so I'm going to ask, I'm, I'm going to get to that question, but here's one more thing I want to show you for giving value, all right? This right here, this is a time saver, and this is an elementary entrance into the world of AI, I'm sure that Marshanda has introduced things to you. I'm not by any means an AI expert at all. There's so many things out there. I feel like, um, you know, when I was a teenager and I was playing video games and I only had four buttons and my dad would sit down and he would struggle with the four buttons. And I would say, come on, dad, let's go. And I'm click, 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 click. Now, when the controllers have 35 buttons and my son wants me to play and I don't know what the heck's going on. And he's saying, come on, dad, it's only 35 buttons. <laughs> That's where I'm at in the technology thing. So I'm slowly introducing myself to the AI. There's a whole world out there, but I want to share something with you. Very, 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 very simple that will save you so much time. Let me share my screen again here. 
and um, it is the use of chat GPT. And here's how it goes. You go to chat.openai.com. All right. I've already listed something here that I can, that, that will help. Um, and you can type anything in here. Now, when you go there, you do have to register for an account, log in the whole deal, but it's beautiful. I just posted right here. I need 365 Facebook posts that are two sentences long on the benefits of cryptocurrency because I don't want to have to come up with new content every day. I want a different piece of content every single day on the benefits of cryptocurrency so that I can give value every single day so that when people see me on Facebook and they pull up my profile, they know every day they're going to see another benefit for cryptocurrency. I just hit send right here and sit back. And this will list 365 benefits of cryptocurrency. Now, if I don't want to sit here for all of it, I can stop generating. Oh, I want to regenerate a response. It's going to now give me 365 different ones. Okay. Cryptocurrencies provide financial freedom, eliminate by eliminating the need for intermediaries like banks. With cryptocurrencies, transactions can be completed quickly and securely without the delays associated with traditional banking systems. Now, of course, you could sit here and um, you could sit here and come up with a good 10, probably a 10. You could sit down, knock out 10. But then you start really racking your brain when you want to come up with content that you think is captivating and exciting and staying consistent and giving value to everyone. Do something like that. Now, there are AI platforms out there where you could tell it, listen, I need to see a um, somebody from Pittsburgh on the Yakagani River in a motorcycle boat that's yellow that has a flag, a U.S. flag out of the back of it that has smoke coming out of it. And an AI program will create that image for you. And it's wild and, and crazy what AI does. But like I said, that is a very elementary, elementary, whatever industry you're in, whatever network you're trying to build, you can have content that is that is just spit out to you from um, chat GPT. So with that being said, I could go on and on and on. Um, I don't want to take up too much. Chris, you do not know. You actually are a answer to my prayer. I had it in my class. Well, no, I kept telling them we have a uh, AI person that's coming on to talk to you about chat GPT and you just feel the beans. Oh my <laughs> goodness. You are a blessing, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, wow. So definitely play with this stuff. Um, and and really, here's, here is what I think did it for me. This is where the switch flipped for me because there was a long time when I was just a link poster. And I was like, man, nobody, nobody is responding to anything. And I took a couple of trainings and I went into a couple of boot camps myself. And I said, what's the thing that separates people? What is the thing? And Marshanda said it today, 100%. And this is not cliche. This is 100%. It's about the value that you give. It's about the value that you give. Think about the people that you listen to. Think about the people that you go to for advice, that you go to for instruction, that you go to for education. Those people are the people that you trust because they've given you value before. And so if you were to see me out there and I'm talking about a platform or a program and you don't know me from the next person, but I send you a link and I say, hey, you got to check this out. And we all, this has happened to every single one of us. And you just say, oh, well, I'm not interested right now. I'll blow by on that. But then somebody like Marshanda says, listen, you guys have to take a serious look at this. That has a different ring in your ear. It, it, it you know, perks you up a little bit more because it's come from a trusted person that is value. If you just search chat GPT, but it's, op it's open AI, search, search, just search chat GPT on Google and it'll pop up. Actually, you know what? Let me, let me just go to the link right here. Um, I just use it today. <laughs> it's such a cool tool. And um, it's, kind of, it's kind of actually, it, it, it'll give you like an eerie feeling at first <laughs> because it's like, wow. It's like our world is changing for real. <laughs> so I'll paste it. It's uh, it, I just pasted it in the chat. And then Marshanda, I'll share with you that marketing boost. That way, if you want to offer it to your group, 
um, there's an affiliate program associated with that too. So um, make sure you guys can benefit from that too. But, Absolutely. Um, Tyrone, um, go ahead and, and uh, raise your, you asked you, you raised your hand. Go ahead and ask your question. If I can help in any way to help in any kind of conversations, if anybody is stuck in their messages and they struggle with the next thing to say, take a time right now to share with the group because even though you may think that you're the only one that's dealing with that um, issue, many people deal with the issue. They're just afraid to talk about it. So I like to put it up front and say, let's talk about it. That way, when you leave here, you can say, oh, that's easy. That's an easy way to handle that. So Tyrone, man, thanks for coming, man. What you got? Hey, thank you, uh, Coach Chris, man. That's really dope stuff. I like that chat GPT. I'm definitely going to look into that. Okay, so I'm you know, just getting into, you know, affiliate marketing or network marketing or however you call it. And I was just following Marshanda's lead. So I've been on Facebook joining the different groups and uh, I reached out to a couple of people. Um, but basically this was my, my, uh, what I said to them, it was a uh, hello, such and such. Welcome to the side hustle group. We're excited to have you here with us. Tell me what made you join our group. What are you looking to do? I mean, look, what are you looking to gain by joining our group? Welcome aboard. If I can be of any assistance to you, let me know. By the way, if you were referred by someone, who can we thank for having you join us? So this is what Marshanda had taught us, but I haven't received any responses as of yet. So, um, you know, just want to know how to tweak or fine tune that to try to get some responses back. Thanks. Very good question. And um, when you do that, when you reach out to people randomly in Facebook groups, very fine line right there, very fine line right there. And here's, here's the reason. Think about yourself. If somebody, if you just entered the side hustle group and somebody from the side hustle group sent that message to you, would you respond to that message? Now, nine, time, you, nine out of that 10, no. <laughs> okay, so if you say that, if you can say that, then what you got to do is you got to tweak that or tweak something to where you would reach out to you. Now, the solution to that is, and, uh, and Marshanda might not, she may have a different philosophy on this, is I say, don't go into the Facebook group starting to friend request and starting to message, because then you're that person. Then also what happens is, people start to talk about it in the group. They start to say, oh, you know what? Um, who invited Tyrone? Is Tyrone reaching out to you through private message? Next thing you know, people start wanting to avoid Tyrone. So what you do is just start commenting on posts. Oh. Start commenting on people's posts in there. And that way, when you comment on their post, they're going to get a notification. Like, okay, Marshanda made a post that said, hey, um, you know, if she's she's in, let's say the, I don't know, let's say a bicyclist group. Like um, today I'm riding my bike from, you know, from the point to, to downtown. Anybody want to meet up? Well, boom, Marshanda. Hey, you know what? I sure would like to meet up, but I'm not going to be able to meet it today. Can you make sure that you let us know when the next one is? Even something like that, because that's you showing up okay. and that's your name popping up. And then other people are going to start to see that now. You can also start a thread. And a good thing to do in Facebook groups that you're new to is start a thread that's asking a question. Like, mm. what's everybody's um, biggest pet peeve in this industry or something like that? Like, let's say, gotcha. so what, what, what industry are you in? Uh, real estate. I'm a real realtor. Estate. Okay, so if you go into, you're in a real estate group and you ask, what is your biggest pet peeve in the sales process or in the, the, the home selling process or buying process or project manager or whatever, right. um, property management, whatever. And then what happens is you're going to have people going to say, man, who is this dude coming here asking this question? But they're going to see you. And then they're going to revisit the post because they want to see what other people are saying because they're dealing with the same things as well. Then as people start to say those things, you reply to those things. Okay. Don't just leave it, reply to it. And then after you have posted, replied, replied to a couple more and started to make your, make, make your face seen as somebody that's present, 
Now, when they get a friend request from you, they're gonna be like, oh, that's Tyrone from that real estate. Right, group. right, right, right. And so that's how you do it. And that's how you're, you're not spamming. And then also you could go in, once you start posting and people start to see your face, then you can start to say, hey, listen, I'm doing a Zoom right now where it's nothing but real estate professionals. And it is a Q&A about what's happening with the interest rates in 2023. And I'm giving away a trip or I'm giving away a calculator. Or I'm giving away this. or I'm giving away the opportunity for this. That's you giving value. And the people that want to network will come. And then you may have two or three or four people. And then now that's two or three or four people that have seen your face now, seen you talk, understand how you operate. Those are people now in your network. That's good, man. That's real good. Thank you. Good stuff, man. And so I'm gonna need to get your email, man. And, uh, so I can get you a trip. <laughs> Anybody else have any questions, anything? Um, I will share this too. Uh, if folks are interested, and um, Marshana did give me permission for this. Um, if you want to, if you want to join my Facebook group and see really how it is that I get down, I'm typing it right now in the chat. Now, this actually is using one of the strategies that, that I heard Marshawn talk about, that if you don't use a landing page, you use a Google form. I've just posted in the chat. It's workwithcoachchris.com. And I'll share my screen. Let me open this up. So you can see it. It's very simple. It's a very simple thing, but it does the trick. And... Okay, so finally feel safe and confident in the crypto space. <clears throat> I have a video that I made on YouTube, just posted it there, asking some questions that tells me more about them. Then when I when they get here, if you hit submit, then on the next page, it has the link to my Facebook group. So people will then join the Facebook group there. I also ask a couple of questions as people are coming in the Facebook group. So you'll see that whole system work that way. People will go to my website, they'll answer their questions. If they end up in my Facebook group, that means that they've gone through about three steps. And I know that, okay, they're really interested. And then in, in, on the way into my Facebook group, I ask people if they, wanna, if, they wanna give their, if they wanna give their phone number. When people give their phone number, I call them. And they're shocked by that because most people don't call them. So if somebody gives their phone number, I call them. Now, if all 70 of you guys come to my, go to that link and put your phone number in, I'm not calling all of you guys. <laughs> but those people that I don't know that, um, that um, you know, we're in our, in our build, um, and de depending on how you answer your questions, I mean, you very well, know, may, very well may get a phone call from me. Any other, any other questions? Anybody else have any questions? Don't feel, I really honestly, I've been in this position before too. I've done several boot camps. And one of the things that um, happens in the boot camp is that when I ask people to share it, in the first couple of days, people are really shy. But then after that, people start putting their stuff out and you get the solution. You get, you hear a different solution to what's going on. It really can help clear things up for you, especially if you're stalling in the process of what to say. Okay, I got one here, Chris, uh, that a and well, said they got stumped by. I uh, heard the information about the company. You know, they finally person know what the wait. You got to repeat that. You were breaking in and out. Yeah, sorry about that. I was trying to read what they said when they shared the name of the company that they were representing. That their person says, "My friend told me about the company, and I I think I'm gonna pass." Like their friend had something negative but they didn't have any experience with it i guess that's the point of this my friend said some that something negative yeah that's what it is so how do you want how would you tell them to respond to that if they have a prospect their prospect has gone through you know they that they've seen like the two or three minute video or five minute video and then they they talk to their friend and their friend has something negative so what do you what would you say they should say couple of things I would say is, first of all, um, what is it that you heard? What is it that your friend said? Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? A lot of people are saying that. And, you know, I had that, for, I had that reservation too. But here's the real explanation. 
if you're interested in hearing it. it sounds like your mind might be made up you know but because I, I don't i'm definitely and what i always do is i always leave a room to take it away like I, listen I'm, I'm not in this to convince anybody I, I really i'm not trying to convince anybody i'm just looking for people that are looking or i'm looking for people that I'm, I'm sharing information and so if you've already written it off then you know we could save each other's time you know because i'm definitely not into convincing but i felt the same way too and i did a little bit more research and this is what i found and i can give you the explanation if you're open to hearing it and then that way they could be like okay all right so this isn't i'm not just on an island or i would say is your friend how long has your friend been involved or what's your friend's level of involvement and you know, then I sometimes I say, well, if, you know, you buy what people say, then you buy their lifestyle. Um, and so if they're not moving in the direction that you want to go, but the people that are having success, they're having success with this platform and they're doing this, you, you got to make a choice. Which person do you want to follow? Great, great, great. Okay. Thank you. Hey guys, this is your opportunity. If you have something that you've been stuck on a little bit, any kind of responses that you're getting, don't send to me. Go ahead and say it to Coach Chris. That's what he's here for. And I really appreciate uh, him just giving his heart here today and, and uh, also showing you a system that he's using at works. I think uh, that that is just, it's just been so valuable. And I'm so happy that many of you showed up today that you'll be able to take this and put it into action. Um, looks like Lisa, you're unmuted, or Fred, either one. Oh, yeah, sorry. Go ahead. go ahead, Lisa. Yeah, I, uh, Chris, thanks for uh, sharing your knowledge uh, with the folks here. I had a, you know, a simple question. We speak a lot about Facebook. Do you have any experience with say LinkedIn or some of those other um, social media platforms and do you have a, a overall preference or do you just stick with Facebook? Yeah, I'm, I'm almost embarrassed to say this, but I don't even have a LinkedIn at all. And I only use Facebook. You know, I use YouTube as well too. I get, I do get a lot of traffic from YouTube. Like when I make a video where I'm explaining something or breaking a comp plan down, um, I do get traffic because I have a, a, a couple thousand people following me on YouTube. But I am 100% primarily Facebook. Again, I, I, I gave you the analogy of the controller. Okay, so when you start to talk about the Snapchat and the um, TikToks and the other things, that starts to go beyond my comfort zone. And so my big thing also is I don't want to overwhelm myself and I try to give people things to where they're not going to overwhelm themselves. Because if you start to if you start to look at what your to-do list is for the day and you're like, I got to go to work and then I got to take the kids here and then I got dinner and then I got this to-do list that I got to make sure I stay consistent with. When you start to make that list unrealistic and too difficult, that's when those things just start not happening and then you start to not see the results. So I just say, listen, take this in bite-sized pieces in just... Take something that you can do every single day that's not too, too much of a demand on you, but you're giving value. Even if your value is just giving information, even if your value is just giving updated information in your niche, you know, in the real estate niche, you could, I mean, chat GPT, you could go a million different directions with that. And if you're giving value every day, people are going to notice. They're going to notice. They may not respond. They may not say anything, but they're going to notice because you're showing up consistently and Facebook rewards that. And then when you ask, ask questions, people respond, you start to get more and more reach. And that's how your network starts to grow. And then when you say the magic thing on the magic day to the magic person, because you showed up every day giving value, it just might not be somebody's time in 20 days when they have just had something happen in their life, maybe they've got a surplus of money that they want to look to invest in something. And since you've been the person that's been talking about money every day that they've been listening to, yo, I got to go with my boy Tyrone, man. He's been talking about real estate. Definitely going to him. I got this now 30 grand that I want to put down on this house. Tyrone, I've been checking you out every day, man. You've been giving value every day. 
that's how it works. But you got to stay consistent with it. You got to stay consistent with it. Let's do it. Yes, sir. All right, Fred, did that answer your question? Yes, thank you. All right, we had Crystal with her hand up, another student. Crystal, Crystal, come on up, sis. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for this platform, Marshanda, and thank you for um, the information you're giving, Coach Chris. Um, uh, I had my hand up, then I put it down because I think it's a little bit of an elementary question. However, um, my social media presence has been lacking for years, purposely. And so now that I'm being more intentional about business ownership, it's necessary. So my question, and then Marshanda has mentioned that, you know, you gotta clean up your page, you know, clean up the picture or whatever and, and, and start posting. Um, I'm trying to get myself into the habit of doing that. Um, but how, how much cleanup do you have to do? Because I've kind of uh, hesitated, if you will, joining groups and stuff like that and, and engaging because of my page may be simple or not much to look at, if you will, if you know what I mean. Okay, well, that's a very, very good point. And I think that you're not alone in that. And that's not elementary. That's actually a very good question because a lot of people don't grasp that part of it. And don't, don't discount yourself, okay? First of all, because you are an individual, you are you, and people like you for you. When I tell people to clean up their page, I tell them to take down the drunk pictures, take down the pictures where they're, you know, smoking a blunt or partying or something like that, or they're talking about religion or they're talking about politics, you know, the no-nos in marketing and just being you. I say you want to go about 20% sharing your business opportunity. So one out of five days, actually sharing some sort of opportunity. 20%, you want it to be of your family, just of your life, pictures of you doing what you do, hanging out. You want 20% to be giving value. So you're just sharing with something, just, just anything, but giving value, sharing. Then you want 20% to be, again, relaxed, fun, you, and then 20% you want to be about your niche. So that's five days, different thing every day. And that way you're not that person that only is talking about your business every single day. That way somebody can come to your page and see like, oh, okay, Crystal, she likes to you know, sex ride bikes. Oh, and she's a, you know, she's very involved with her kids. Okay, and she's involved in the crypto space. Okay, cool. Oh, and then she does some motivational stuff and some funny stuff. Okay, you know what? I like this page. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure I, I come back here, you know, because people want to see what you're doing. Now, if you're trying to, to get engagement, a good way to get engagement, as I say, two things is to first be polarizing, meaning opposite of what is happening out there. If somebody's saying, hey, this is the way that you need to do this to get this. If you come out and say, I don't care what they're saying, they're wrong. This is the way to do this. That way you're going to spark some conversation. And the other thing is ask question, ask a question that's going to provoke an answer, you know, where it's going to provoke a thought, a, a thought provoking answer, you know, so you ask a question that way people that see the question that know you are going to be like, oh yeah, I'm going to, um, here, here's my take on that. And then what happens in the Facebook algorithm, I'm sure my Shonda shared this with you too, is, is that you have these buckets that are in your inner circle. And so when you give out information, Facebook says, okay, who's really engaging with that? Now, if the people in your quick five, 10, 20 circle don't engage with it, Facebook says, okay, that's not really engaging. I'm not gonna share it with the next circle of bigger circle of friends. That's why you can see like on Facebook, sometimes like three days later, you'll see a post from one of your friends. It's because they've put something up that's gone through the first row of buckets. 
then it goes through the second row of buckets. And then maybe you're in the third row of buckets that it gets shown to. So that's why when you post something and you're somebody from your inner circle replies or posts something, you got to like it, not just like it, you got to love it because the love is an extra action. Like is just boop, but love is hold, slide, heart. Okay, Facebook says, all right, that's a, a, a deliberate action. So you love the comment and you reply. Then if they reply, you reply. Then if somebody else replies, you reply. Now, rather than just having two comments, you got eight. Rather than having 10 comments, you have 80. And now people scrolling through Facebook, like, wait a second, what are they talking about on that page? 80 comments? Oh, if I say something, then um, Crystal's going to reply to me. And what do people do on their social media? They flip it open and they look at that notification and see how many people liked, how many people commented. So if they see a response to a comment, they're going there. If they see that you liked it or loved it, they're going there and they'll continue the conversation. And that is how you utilize the social media. You engage. You don't just spit. You engage. That way, when your inner circle engages, Facebook says, oh, there's some engagement on that post. Boom. Let's go to the outer circle. Oh, there's some more engagement there. Okay, now we're going to go to an even bigger circle. That's when you start getting the 100, 200 comments, 300 likes. That's how that's how that works. And that's also why if you post something, you may think somebody that you talked to on the phone, like, did you see my Facebook post? No, I didn't see it. It's like, man, but you're one of my friends. Why didn't you see it? It's because the Facebook algorithm hasn't gotten to that circle yet because you haven't shown enough engagement with the small circle. So hopefully that clears some things up. I know I went kind of long-winded with that, but hopefully that'll give you some direction. Thank you. And yes, it did. And you explained how Facebook works. Thanks. Absolutely. Anybody else? All yeah. right. Oh, yeah. there we go. Emmett. Yeah. Go Chris. ahead, Emmett. My man, Emmett. Chris. Oh, you, man. Great. I could have had you doing man. this training. Hey. <laughs> oh, no. I just want to, you know, to say being one that was in one of your boot camps is, you know, it's just awesome. You, you know, you showed me a lot of stuff with Facebook that I hadn't even thought of. You know, it was fun. It was intuitive. It was very informative. It got me to change a few things. And, and it actually took me to another level. So I really appreciate that. I thank you. And, and it was great, you know, just seeing you here again, you know, in this forum. So if anybody, I, I encourage you, you have a chance to work with Chris, do it. Do not hesitate. Just do it. So thank you very much. I, know, you go, I, mean, I say peace. Share with the people, was it difficult? Were the things that I asked you to do difficult? No, they weren't difficult. It's not uh, difficult. You just got to mainly get out of yourself. And, you know, he has a, you know, a way of doing it. And, and that made it, you know, relational. You know, that's that's what it is. You know, it's, it's developing the relationship and, and not throwing up on people, you know, <laughs> you know, and begging, begging here and there. You know, he had a really good, has a really good approach. He gave, he gave you most of it already. And it applies in, you know, even though he's a master in, in crypto, it applies in all the different fields. So I, I, I recommend that, you know, anytime you have a chance to work with Coach Chris, get on board. Take care. Thank you, my brother. Appreciate you. Uh, if you take anything away from this, here's the main things you're going to take away from this. First of all, got to be given value. Got to be given value. Second thing is ask for permission. That is such a big thing. You will see when you start to implement that, that the responses that you're going to get are going to be so amazing. So give value. Can I have your permission? Really, that will help you. All the other little tidbits will help you. But those two main things, those two main things, believe it, it may sound like, yeah, right. But those two things are very, 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 very key. Go ahead, Terry. Thank you so much for this great training. You and Marshonda, oh my gosh, this has been, I, I can't believe I've not got, gotten in any of your classes. <laughs> but anyway, my question is, how do I strike up a conversation um, if I'm in a, you know, grocery store or Walmart or because I'm out in the community and I'm not, a, I mean, I have a Facebook page, but I never, ever post anything. So now I see I need to really start changing that. But how do I strike up a conversation 
with somebody because I'm really shy about doing that. Okay, well, you you do you definitely have to get over that. You have to get over the shyness because believe it or not, I, I that's an anxiety I have is approaching people to talk just to freely. I was a teacher for 20 years. I've spoken in front of a million people, but that's a, a, a thing for me, actually going up to somebody and say, hey, how are you doing and having a conversation just randomly? But I will tell you, this is from um, hanging out with a gentleman called the ball head crypto guy, Alan Hagel. He's a master of this. Those of you guys that know him, you know exactly what I'm talking about. He compliments. That is a very good icebreaker. Oh my gosh, your hat is so wonderful. You know what? Your shoes, those are such cool shoes. You keep your shoes so clean or that's a wonderful jacket. Oh, well, thank you so much because now you've broken down the conversation barrier of, first of all, someone saying, why are they talking to me? And if you start the conversation with a compliment, then you just use your conversational skills. So what are you doing out here? Oh, what do you, well, what do, you do during the day? Okay, well, are you the type of person that keeps your ears open for extra things? You know, and then you can navigate your conversation however you want to go, whether you're trying to get them to on a phone call or you want to get them out to lunch or you want to get them to a webinar or whatever it is that you want. Mm -hmm. But start with a compliment. That will always, that will always take you places. Alan was a master at that. He would, he would start a conversation with somebody and be like, here we go again. I'm going to be here for another 20 minutes. And <laughs> I'll tell you what, man, he was a master recruiter, man. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much for that. I'll I'll try that. <laughs> Mr. James Hall, you got your mic open. Guys, it's gonna be the last one we're gonna take. We didn't held up Mr. <laughs> Mr. Chris Clark's time and, and it's been so worth it. It's amazing. So go ahead. Uh did you have a question, Mr. Hall? All right. Well, listen, guys, I'm so fired up and excited. Oh, we have Barry coming on in. Barry, Amen. Barry, go ahead, sir. Can y'all hear me? Yes, yes sir. sir. All right. Uh, not really a question. I just want to make a comment. Uh, you know, life is fun. <clears throat> life is really funny. I would have never uh, met Marshanda uh, and uh, simply because of the, the amount of value that she puts out. I, I am very, uh, you know, I find her so um, giving that, you know, it, it puts a smile on my face every time I see her picture here uh, on any of the different Zooms that I've, I've visited. And the whole thing is, is that I'm a testament of uh, uh, Chris, Coach, uh, you know, uh, Coach Chris, I should say, um, because he he used that that Google form uh, that that attracted me initially I saw his video on Facebook and um, it led me down the path of that funnel of you know going first to his his, um, his uh, Google page I answered a few questions and and next thing you know I'm involved in a whole new world of uh, crypto and uh, and I've been enjoying every minute of it ever since I've met Chris and uh, him and I have become pretty good friends now and uh, he was helping me along the way. And all of the value that you've been giving uh, Marshanda uh, is tremendous. And I uh, just want to thank you both. Well, thank Absolutely. you so much, Barry. We did not pay him to say those things, ladies <laughs> right. and gentlemen. <laughs> right. <laughs> but listen to this. I, I really want you guys to hear this. We walk our talk. We don't just say, you need to do this, and we don't do it. And I love that Chris put his form out there because you can see that that's the way, you know, we talked about that last week or two weeks ago when Sandra came up and showed you, you don't have to have a lot of money. None of the things until tonight, have I ever showed you anything about having to pay money to get any leads? Um, you know, we're going to ramp it up because we're, get, we're, we're coming to, you know, the six weeks here, but it's, it's really cool because just using that Google form, getting to know people, having these conversations, how many people can just compliment somebody? You know, that is a such a powerful, like there's so many golden nuggets in here. You know, we talked about um, having somebody come about that chat GT, GPT and the person that was going to come uh, didn't come that day. So we did something else. But look at God. He sent Coach Chris to tell us. And it was such a reminder. I mean, I've been using it uh, to write some of the emails that I write to you guys and uh, things like that. But just looking at it from a different perspective, using it to 
uh, put your post. Because many of you say, I don't know what to post. He just gave you 365 days of posts. You know, on any subject, you can ask them to help you. I, I would ask them to ask you questions. Give me five engaging questions. They will give you questions yeah. and you can post them. And then what some people say to me, well, what if somebody else has that on their post? Guys, we people are not going to see the same thing. There's a billion people on this thing. <laughs> you know, so people are not going to say, oh, well, Betty had the same question as Sandra today. What, what was they copying? Go, don't get over yourself. It's not that, it's not that like that. So I'm so, I just feel so blessed. Thank you so much, Coach Chris. We have to have you come back. We have to have you come back if you will. Grace us again with your golden nuggets. You have been so, so gracious today with your time. Thank you so very, very much. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's give him uh, some some fire in the chat. Let's give him some fire in the chat. If you got value from today, let's put some fire in that chat. If you got some value for today, put it in the chat, please, so that he can see how much he is loved and appreciated. I'm sorry, I put that on my reaction, not in the chat. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, let's go now. Look, I'm I'm getting like, is it 15 gadgets here? <laughs> uh, so we appreciate you, sir. So for those that are in the class, we will be back on on Friday. Let me go ahead and share with you. Look at all that fire. Thank you so much again for coming out. Gosh, we learned so many things and, you know, we'll be tweaking some things that we, that how we approach different things. Even for me, just coming with, you know, sometimes we get so excited about whichever opportunity we're in. We, st we don't ask, can I, can I get your permission? Yeah, that is so key. Can I have you can can I, can I get your permission to, to share this with you? And I think that if we use, start using that, not think, I know if we start using that, uh, we will uh, see a lot more responses. I just want to remind you, those of you that are in the class, that are in the class, please make sure that you have your Trillo boards updated. Please have your Trillo boards updated for Friday because we are Friday is what guys accountability day. We will be taking accountability looking at our chillo boards and what, where we're at. Let me go ahead and put the homework assignment up, the homework back up so you guys can see what the homework is. I show from, from here. It's great. So it's this great. is your homework. Homework, you can do it one of two ways. Go and build your lead magnet, either with your own content or go and use some of that PLR that we get, those products that I showed you some websites there's some things on there for free that you can just give away and please add those to your trillo board so friday we can um you know talk about that and i'm again so grateful for you chris i'm gonna let you have the last word and lead us out of here sir thank you so much um for for coming here i'm gonna let you close us out sir well, thank you very much. And uh, and I have to tell you guys, uh, you really do have a treat. And you know that, you know, you have a treat with Marshonda. And and uh, I truly, truly am grateful because I truly believe that iron sharpens iron. And, uh, you know, Marshonda is an expert in the space. Um, and I, I get the privilege of being able to talk to her and learn from her every single day in a different type of way. And so I'm truly grateful for that. And And this wouldn't have happened without that. And so I thank the folks that ask questions. Um, my man, Barry, my man, Emmett, appreciate you guys coming on and, and speaking on my behalf. And, you know, we, we're all a big family here. And, and truly, I try to align myself with people that really want to help people and want to move forward. And you'll see that. Um, and so if you've, if you've entered my Facebook group, I'll, I'll be getting back to you. I'll be uh, admitting you into, into my Facebook group. And definitely don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, through Messenger. Um, one last thing I will share, I, I meant to say this earlier about going into groups, is every single group that you go into, you must reach out to the admin. You must reach out to the admin and spark a relationship with the admin, because if the admin is the type of person that can create a group with that many people, wouldn't it be great to have somebody like that in your organization building something that you've shared with them? And it all starts with a relationship. Can I have your permission? How are you doing? And giving value. So again, Marshana, thank you very much. Truly appreciate you guys for being here. Um, thank you again. And we'll see you soon.
Thank you so much, sir. What I'm gonna do for those that are in Passive Income Team uh, Telegram, we're gonna put Chris's link and all of the content from today, all the websites that you guys uh, were introduced today will be in Passive Income Team's uh, Telegram group later today. So you can um, snatch up those uh, resources, get on Chris's list, join this Facebook group, get some coaching from this man. I mean, he is just absolutely phenomenal. Get to his boot camp. I'm going to sign up for his boot camp because this is so, this is what we do, right? So with that being said, have a great evening. We'll see those that are in the course on Friday. Have a great day, everybody. I hope you guys got value out of today. Have a great Thank one. you, Chris. Thank you, Marshawn. You guys rock. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chris and Marshanda. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Chris and Marshanda. You're welcome.